You don't believe a mule talked. My Bible says it did. Once a certain nation was led by the hand of God from bondage to freedom. Other nations sought to harm them, but God protected them. Now Balak, king of Moab, was jealous of these people, but afraid of them, and sought to drive them out of the land. He sent for Balaam and said, Balaam, I hear there's a people that have come out of Egypt, and behold, they are covering the face of the earth. They are too mighty for me. Now I've heard about how you've been given a gift. Those you bless are blessed, and those you curse are cursed. I want you to come and curse these people for me. I'll give you great honor and whatever you ask. But God said, no, Balaam, you can't curse my people. I promised Abraham his seed would be blessed. But Balaam ignored God. And the next morning he saddled his beast and started on his journey. God's anger was kindled. He stood an angel with a sword right in Balaam's path. And as he rode, the beast saw the angel standing there and turned aside and went across the field. Balaam struck the beast and pulled her back in the path. The angel kept on standing there. And when the beast saw the angel, she plunged into a wall on the side of the path and mashed Balaam's foot against the wall. And Balaam struck her the second time. The angel went a little bit further and stood in a narrow place. And when the beast saw the angel, she fell down on the Balaam. He became very angry and struck the beast the third time. That time, Numbers 22, 28 says, God opened the mouth of the beast. And she said, Balaam, Balaam, what have I done to thee that thou hast smitten me these three times? Balaam answered and said, you mocked me. I can imagine I hear the mule as she's saying, am I not yours? And you've ridden me all these days. Have you ever known me to do this before? Balaam answered, no. That time God opened the eyes of Balaam and he saw the angel standing there with a sword in his hand. God, my master, now if God made a mule talk for him, surely, surely, we that are created in his own image, instead of backbiting, lying, speaking evil one of another and foolishly talking, should keep our conversations holy and talk for Jesus. As for me, long as I live, I'll say as David in Psalms 119, my lips shall let a praise and my tongue shall speak of thy word. Yeah, I wonder are you willing to talk for him? Are you willing? Are you willing? Yeah, I'm so willing and I'm gonna talk about him everywhere I go.